So let's ha say we have a quadratic inequality that looks like this. x squared plus 2x minus 8 is less than or equal to 0. Now, as I said in the previous video, we can factorise or we can use the quadratic formula. Um, this one can be factorised, okay? So we have uh, x, uh, two numbers that multiply together to make minus 8, but add together to make 2 would be 4 and minus 2. So we've got plus 4 and minus 2. And this is less than or equal to 0. So that means we have a parabola. Okay, it's positive, okay, so it looks like this, because the number in front of the x squared is positive. There are two solutions, so it is a parabola that goes through the x-axis, and it goes through at minus 4 and plus 2, okay? You don't need to draw in the y-axis if you don't want to, it doesn't matter. The sketch is here to help us solve the problem. It's not here to give the examiner something else to look at uh, that needs to be perfect and pretty, okay? It is there for our sake, for our purpose, okay? So what we're asking here is where is the parabola this time below or equal to y equals zero? This is the line y equals zero, remember, okay, the x-axis. Where is it below the x-axis? And it's below it here. Okay, this is the bit where it's below. So it is below between minus 4 and 2. And because there is one region, I can represent it with one inequality. Okay, and I can represent that inequality as minus 4 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2. Do not... Um, represent it as x is greater than or equal to minus 4 and x is less than or equal to 2, okay? Don't do it this way. It is represented by one inequality, okay? Um, like so, okay? Because it is one region. So here is another example of a quadratic inequality you might meet. 